the Chevy is all loaded up with ladder rack and hopefully everything I will need for the next three months. But I have a long way to go and a short time to get there. This assignment starts bright and early on Memorial Day, May 30th, up in Minnesota. And I'm in South Carolina, so I got to get moving. journey and you truck drivers if there's any still watching my channel probably don't know nothing about Bucky's except what it looks like from the road cause truck drivers on duty truck drivers in trucks anyway are not allowed at Bucky's I know I tried a long time ago in um, Texas which Bucky's used to just be in Texas but heck they're in Kentucky that's where we're coming from now there's a couple in Georgia I don't know, let us know in the comments if you've ever been to a Bucky's before and where it was if it was not in Texas. Now I kind of paused when I said this was the first time I've stopped. I did stop coming out of the gorge. This is my new ladder rack. I got a 32 foot ladder up here because I've got a rope and harness certification and uh, I guess I'm going to be using it when I get to Minnesota and be getting on some tall, steep, like 10, 12 pitch roofs. But as I was coming down the road, I was looking in my mirrors and I could not see my ladder. Couldn't see it out the rear view. I was like, I know my ladder hadn't come off. I saw my straps. I secured it good. My ladder could not have come off, but I could not see it. And I was starting to get a little anxiety. I was like, did I drop a 32 foot ladder? But no, it was just out of view. The ladder's still there. Now I hope if you're watching this in the future, I hope you're not going to say, holy smokes, only $4.09 a gallon for gas? That's cheap. It's cheaper than it was on my trip to Florida. I don't have the camper this time, so I'm going to be staying in a hotel. Beamer's not with me. Both of those things suck, but I'm making excellent time. And I'm hungry. Well, Bucky's, just calling this thing a gas station? Which, even though I don't know how many gas pumps are out here, it's a lot. I just filled up at 28, and look, it keeps going. The one in front of me, it's number 58. But we'll check out Bucky's. You want a fire pit? You want a smoker? You can get it at Bucky's. This, this place is packed, though. I bet like nobody's getting gas at the BP in Kentucky. But this is Bucky's. Look at this thing, guys. Got ices, but I smell barbecue somewhere. And there's a bakery. Oh, I love this stuff. I don't see apple fritters though. Do any of you guys like beef jerky? Check this out. They have the biggest variety of beef jerky I've ever seen in my life. Excuse me. I think I'm gonna get some. But Bucky's has a lot of stuff because they got a beaver for their mascot. Right? There's Bucky blankets, Bucky boxers. There's little girl Bucky bathing suits. You know, we used to talk about cheap gas station sunglasses. Not these. I think everything you see here has a price tag over $200. Even the ones on the rack here are 50 bucks. But they look pretty awesome on me, huh? Got Oakley's in a convenience store. You don't see that everywhere. You can even get head at Bucky's. See? 
fancy cold shower body wipes. There's fancy candles. There's signs. Look guys, there's fudge. I bet it was made here, not shipped in. A good variety of fudge, dude, look at all that. We even got birthday cake fudge. My buddy Rosso from San Antonio, he's been telling me about like beaver nugget, beaver nuggets I think they're called. Beaver nuggets? Is that what you got? These are, yeah. They were really good. There's a guy who donated them to the people over there. Like little pieces. Hmm. Let's go over there and try one. So are these the beaver nuggets? Yeah. Thank you. This is what they look like. I wonder what they taste like. Let's try one. Mm, it's just, it's a familiar flavor. It sort of tastes like peanut brittle in a way. Let's try another one. Mm, and it's airy. What it tastes like is that caramel popcorn. I don't know if you had a cheap aunt that got crappy Christmas gifts for you. I did. Hello, Aunt Nancy, if you're watching this. But, you know, you'd get like buttered popcorn, cheesy popcorn, and then the caramel covered popcorn. This tastes real similar to that, but it's not caramel colored. This fellow is rather yellow. All right, enough of bigger beaver nuggets. Let's find a real snack. Wow, these salads look pretty fresh and good. There's chopped brisket. There's sausage on a stick, that's right. Barbecue turkey, pulled pork. They're excited about their food. And I guess I'm gonna wait in line and get some beef jerky. Holy smokes, this is $30 a pound. They'll let you sample it here. I tried a couple. I'm gonna get a half a pound of this bohemian garlic jerky. But they've got a lot, guys. Okay. Our Bucky's tour, it's about over. But they got a whole bunch of ices. And one thing I happen to love is blue raspberry ices. But ices, I think everyone will agree, is better than slush bucket. But the blue raspberry. You know, they train the staff well to make you feel good about your purchases here at Bucky. Two people told me that this was their favorite, the smoked turkey, the girl that checked me out. Now, I'll tell you, this is a pretty freaking good sandwich. Look at that. They got smoked brisket in there too. But I had a couple people tell me the smoked turkey is even better. Mmm, that's tasty. Chasing it down with a blue raspberry slushy. And my beef jerky. It's wrapped up like I got it from the butcher or something. Probably the most amazing gas station I've ever been into in my life. I would hate to be a gas station across the street from this place. But this is what's going on in the back of the Chevy. In addition to our 32 foot ladder, we got a little giant. Yeah, little guy. He's only 22 feet. That seriously was a great sandwich. And just think, if I wouldn't have left truck driving, this never could have happened. Because they won't even let you bobtail in here. You got to come in here on your personal time if you're a truck driver. Or maybe it's a little box truck bringing stuff in here. I don't know. But they got a lot of stuff. And if you bought it, a truck brought it. This video was absolutely not intended to be a, a Bucky infomercial or commercial or anything like that. I just saw the billboards and I was getting hungry and needed gas. So I stopped. But we got a long ways to go. And we are still 823 miles from where I'm going. A little, a little under 12 hours according yeah, to this. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to drive straight through almost 1,200 miles. But I do not intend to get a room between here and my room. I didn't start till 11 o'clock, so I got to keep on trucking. And yes, I can say keep on trucking because I'm in a truck. And people are still steadily pouring in. I've been waiting here for like two minutes to take a left to, <laughs> to the exit. But cars keep coming. All right, there's a gap. Go. Yeah, but truck drivers, just in case you missed it, on the way in, there is a no semi sign. 
even if you're bobtailed. We are getting back on the interstate. I-75 North. Bucky is now in our rear view. You know, I'm planning on waiting a little longer before I recorded anything else. But I'm eating this beef jerky. And it's pretty dang awesome. Look at that slice of this huge. Indiana. It is almost midnight and I think I am still in the eastern time zone because both times are the same. See I've got a world clock on this watch face. I used to use that when I was driving to Texas in the central time zone so I could keep up with what's up. Look at the difference in gas price from Kentucky. It's like 50 freaking cent cheaper. In Kentucky compared to here in Indiana and I was just talking to my new friend over here at the next pump it's even worse in Chicago where he's coming from it's over five dollars but I'm doing something I don't do very often I'm having a little subway sub I'm making pretty outstanding time this is the third time that the truck has stopped not counting my ladder check that was real quick Bucky's and then I started getting a little a little sleepy a, a little bit before sunset so I stopped at a rest stop and I took a short nap it wasn't very long maybe an hour and then I got back out on the road and I just stopped here to fill up again it's almost midnight got a cup of coffee I started getting sleepy again and they grabbed me a six inch sub I think I could possibly drive on through to Minnesota and do 1200 miles you know with like in a shift because I don't have to adhere to the hours of service of a truck driver there's no log book in the Chevy but if I do that I'm gonna get to the hotel too early because they're not gonna let me check in until 11 o'clock so what I'm thinking I'd like to go ahead and maybe make it through Chicago maybe shut down and take a little nap for a couple hours two or three hours in Wisconsin then get up and take it on to the hotel because I gotta unpack I got to do a couple of training videos. I got to fill out an I-9. I got to fill out a one-way trip thing. So I'll get 350 bucks from Renfro for driving up here. Which, uh, I don't know if that's going to cover all my gas, but it'll probably cover most of it. But also, if I only had to drive 75 miles, they still would have gave me $350. But I'm driving close to 1200 but I'm really, really excited about getting my shot as an adjuster. It's going to be scary. There's going to be no moments where I probably don't know what the hell to do. Hopefully, I'll have somebody I can ask what I need to do. You know, I'm rope and hardest certified now, right? But it only took a few hours. I was in a class, and I wasn't up on a real roof. I was up on a pretend roof. The first one could be potentially like that tall, two-story house, crazy pitch. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to do it so this will probably be the only video you guys get from me this week because I gotta focus on what I'm supposed to do but as we get on into this I'll share some content and I think you guys will dig it even you mother truckers that has been giving me a hard time I think you'll dig it but if you don't there's always the unsubscribe button and the thumbs down I'm coming to you from Wisconsin. Only one more state line to cross to reach our destination in Minnesota. But this is uh, like Illinois over there. 
I don't know if I'm gonna be in trouble. I haven't paid any Illinois tolls. It looked like they were they were closed or or whatever. I didn't do it, so I'll, I'll probably have some uh, Illinois toll fees to pay when I get home. But we ain't worried about that right now. Let's get to where we're going. <laughs> Thanks to all of you for riding along with me from South Carolina to Minnesota, but I'm checked in at the Red Roof Inn. I'm getting ready to leave the hotel room to, to check in. There's storm warnings here today. There's been wind gusts of 86 miles an hour this morning, so I think I'm going to be busy. The next few days, I won't be meeting with any homeowners or climbing on any roofs. I'm expecting that to start Thursday. The next few days is getting the equipment I'm going to be using, getting trained up on the policies and the procedures, and scheduling appointments. So I'm a little nervous, but at the same time, I'm prepared. I've got my shot, what I've been asking for, a deployment. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to communicate with you guys over these next few weeks, but please drop a comment below, a thumbs up, that sort of thing, and I'll see you in the next video. But thanks again. Everybody going through a little something, something. Sing a little song with a guitar string.